Oh yeah, we are about to, well, we're headed back from the grocery store right now, but we're gonna be going to Hoffman Ford today to check out a Badlands Ford Bronco, the real Bronco, not the sport one that a mother of four would drive. So this is the real deal here. And uh, I have some exciting news. I understand you guys saw the title and thumbnail, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, it's happening. So let's go over there, check it out. But first, I know you guys love this, but to the guy that wins, you're gonna be happy that I convinced you to enter. Check this out. If you wanna be the lucky winner of this saline Mustang and this beautiful Z06 Corvette, make sure you enter down in the description times 15 entries. We have 18 days left on the Corvette and only 10 days left on the Ford Mustang. So make sure you get on this. It's the biggest multiplier that we're gonna be doing for this joint giveaway. Make sure you get on it. Every $5 spent worth 15 entries. Time's running out. Make sure you get on this. Change your life. So we are at a Ford dealership of all places. Haven't been to one in a while. And luckily, Hoffman Ford has hooked me up here. I usually go to Whitmore, but Hoffman Ford has hooked me up with the ability to check out the new Bronco and potentially buy it. This one is just a demo model for right now. I'm assuming uh, just to get people in the door here to look. It does have a window sticker though. So I'm assuming you can buy this one. You have to be able to. It can't just be uh, a demo model, but we have on here. It's really hard to read just because of the uh, the window tint. 17 miles per gallon, uh, the annual fuel cost they're saying. These are all irrelevant facts, uh, $2,400. Um, so it ranks a little bit lower on the low end, but the total MSRP for this model is $57,600. And this one is the four-door advanced 4x4 Badlands, five passenger, 2.3 liter EcoBoost, engine um, and I think that you can get these in a slightly uh, bigger engine I don't know but the inside here looking just super rugged I am blown away with this so like the title says um, this isn't clickbait I'm gonna be getting rid of the ZR2 and we're gonna be definitely be getting uh, a Bronco one of these Broncos the real ones and I want to get the model which are probably super rare I don't even know how many of those are gonna exist but they have like the glass paneling in the door here um, but the Badlands edition this is so sick really cool color I've seen a lot but they're just in black but the Bronco logo down here you have your mode select they didn't give me the keys um, but they did unlock it for me just to take a look because um, this is just the display model like I said for everyone to take a look at lots of crazy stuff down here at Hoffman Ford what's up man how you doing buddy the doors open pretty cool there's no framing that goes over the windows over the top sort of like the Mustang they just have a little pillar here uh, which I guess is just for sealing purposes um, little grab handle here even that says Bronco on it orange striping down the side so freaking sick love the tires and, and the wheels these kind of reminiscent of uh, what they have on the TRX but they have the Bronco logo on that and uh, I think even on the sport this opens up long ways um, and then I don't know if it opens up like you can pop it open but it opens up long ways just like the original uh, Ford Bronco did back in the 80s. The dash up here is pretty plain. Uh, it, it reminds me of a, a Jeep, actually, which is kind of funny. The same thing as the TRX. Ford's starting to step it up here. Chevy, GM, they just cannot get on board. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. They just cannot get on board with like these cool little details. I never see Chevy doing this type of stuff. Ford has blended itself to be sort of the cheaper company lately, which is unfortunate because I used to really like them. Uh, lo and behold, I owned a Ford Mustang, just to prove that point. But uh, this was built in Michigan, assembly plant. This reminds me of what they also have on the Dodge. I keep going back to that, Mike's TRX. They have these little nameplates. I love those little details here, huge. Uh, touch screen on the top here and then this is sick like little rubber grommets here for you to grab onto uh, For I mean just the little details. I really like that. So up here. We have front and rear lockers That's what I see on there. That's awesome. You have your off-road select This must be for some type of suspension travel I'm a bit of a noob whenever it comes to stuff when it gets that intense with uh, off-roading tons of auxiliary switches up here to fit anything you want winch uh, light bars, stuff like that. So I love whenever vehicles have all those. It makes you feel like you're in a little space shuttle. Um, you're definitely sitting low to the ground, but I'll tell you one thing is the hood sits way out in front of you. And it's cool because it has like two little grab handles on the front there. Uh, so for $60,000, and the reason why we're gonna get one of these is because I'm not losing anything except the bed of a truck. I have my ZR2 sitting right over there. I'm not losing uh, anything. I mean, I'm not really losing power. It has a smaller engine, I guess. But for the most part, these things can be dealt with in time. I'm sure they're going to come out with a kit that I can improve the power on this thing later in the future. Uh, but yeah, definitely really cool here. And the off-road select, the GOAT. God only knows what that stands for. I'm assuming greatest of all time, like any other uh, time the word GOAT is used. But I don't know what it... Ford probably has some weird thing where it's like some off-road uh, selection down here. And then all your window controls down here in the center console, also sort of like a Jeep and some other uh, European vehicles center console there lots of room in the back it looks like and then obviously the drop top you can pop off here 
Bronco logo, just like the sport here on the uh, on the steering wheel. I love that it's like, you don't see the word Ford anywhere, as far as I can tell, except for down here on the nameplate. Um, that's essentially it. It says Bronco everywhere that you would see Ford normally on a vehicle, like even on the Ford Raptor. It doesn't say Raptor on the front, it says Ford, but on the Bronco, you got Bronco right here on the front. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. This is very exciting dealing with a new vehicle, especially one that I'm going to buy. Uh, it's crazy. I'm definitely gonna miss the ZR2, um, but this is just what's right for the channel. It's gonna be $60,000 uh, by the time it's out the door, but it's something that needs to happen. It looks badass, and I love the color, but imagine this. I know that we've already done it, but with a highlighter wrap on the front of this, just to go with like the white accents here, um, it's what I love about these vehicles that unfortunately is done with my ZR2 is that uh, there's a lot of chrome. You don't see any chrome in this thing, okay? So it's like, it's a huge plus. Like where there would be chrome, like on the little knobs here, it's a rubberized paint matched little handle. Uh, down here, like none of this is chrome, paint matched. The only thing you have is just some slight chrome on the door here. And that's about it. I mean, it's just very impressive on these vehicles. The matching stitching, um, I just love like the ruggedness of this. So what you're getting with this and the reason why it's $60,000 is one, it's unique. They're expensive as hell, hell to build and it's gonna be very capable off-roading if, if you're gonna have front and rear lockers. Uh, Four-wheel drive is the first step, um, ground clearance, and then to have lockers, it's like cheat codes. I've gone out wheeling with vehicles that look like they're better potential, have more potential than mine. And if they don't have those lockers, you're sort of dead in the water. So I've done enough talking with the Bronco. They're bringing out the specialist. They so what they do is Ford actually sends that whenever they have a Ford dealership, they'll send out, uh, they'll be like, hey, send one of your salesmen to us and we're going to train them on all the Easter eggs and all the fun facts about the Broncos. So they sort of go to like a little school, Bronco school, and uh, he's going to be coming out here. He's going to give us all the inside details on this sick vehicle. You can tell it was vehicle transported here because this is what happened to mine. Nice and smudged up. A little hood pop here. So unlike the Jeep, it's popping in the front like normal. The grab handles stay on the side here. I don't know what these are for. I'm assuming just to look cool. Uh, it says that they have a max load, so you can put a tie down on here of 150 pounds. So that's about worthless. Uh, I don't know what else. It's got to just be for show. Really weird hood release. And of course, this is a Ford. So, so even for 2021, 2022, we still have these stupid drop handles that keep these up. I don't know why Ford does that. Yeah. AJ? Yeah, I figured I'm gonna, you had some questions. I'm gonna film you if that's all right. That's fine. Awesome. So the Ford Bronco here, mm -hmm. uh, what is like the full name of, of this model? Because I know there's the Sport and then this is the Ford Bronco that's... Yeah, so this would be the Ford Bronco four-door Badlands. Badlands, so, okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's the official Ford name. That's sweet. So did they... Did, I. I didn't know if they had to send you away to like, a, I know for the Corvette C8, uh, like a lot of the salesmen were sent away to like a school almost. Yes. Did you guys have to like go to a class yeah, for so one I of these? I went to Austin, Texas, down at the off rodeo they had down there in Austin. It's in Horseshoe Bay, which is actually about like an hour outside of Austin. Awesome. But it's like an off road driving school, similar to how Ford used to do it for the Ford ST vehicles, like the, the Focus ST and uh, the Mustang. So it's a great, it's a whole day. They teach you how how to drive it off road. Driving drive course, yep. Yeah, teach you how to use every feature that's on it. So. Yeah, I saw it have front and rear lockers, yes. which is, so yeah, that's- and, and the stabilizer bar disconnect. This yeah. thing, yeah, wait, that's, that's what it was. I couldn't tell what it was, sway yeah, bar disconnect. That's awesome. Yep. So this thing is essentially a Jeep. Like it can compete with the it Jeeps is. out there. Yeah, it is meant to a compete A Rubicon with Jeep. Jeep. Yeah, it, yeah. and it, this model especially, like the Badlands is designed to compete against the Rubicon. So it's, it's set up exactly how Rubicon would be, 33 inch wheels, yep. front and rear locking, locking differentials. So it's meant to compete directly with that. And this is probably the most off-road capable if you're looking for rock crawling off-roading. Yep. If you're looking for like Baja racing, like sand racing, anything like that, high speed driving, that's more of the wild track. Wild track and Badlands are basically set as an equal trim level, but designed for different purposes. Awesome, it'd be really cool to see this go up against the Raptor. Obviously, I think the uh, the ground clearance on this might be a little better just because the wheelbase is shorter, yeah. it seems. Uh, so I bet you this thing would actually do better, which is crazy. Yeah, and the suspension setup for this is similar to how a Raptor set up. Mm -hmm. So the, the design process behind it, I'm sure that some developers from Raptor, from that team helped out with the designing the suspension for this. So, and that's where that wild track trim level comes in. So that's that's basically as close as a Raptor variant is gonna be at yep. this point in time. And eventually there probably will be a, a standalone Bronco Raptor-ish vehicle. That's crazy to yeah. think about. I mean, it's just like Chevy had its chance with the Blazer. Um, it's yeah. pretty pathetic. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, and now Ford comes out and everyone was like, well, 
uh, car guys knew there was something better on the horizon, but they were worried like, hey, all we see with the sport is, is pretty sad as well. And then to have this, I'm blown away. I mean, I cannot believe how well they did on this vehicle. I mean, it's just like, you look at the inside, all the little trims, like there's not that much chrome, everything's color matched. It's really cool. It's well thought out. They took their time with this. There is one here in the front headlight. There is a little Bronco emblem. So that's one. That's so awesome. Like it's, it doesn't really say Ford that much. It's just, it's it, it all about the Bronco. Yeah, it really doesn't. And that's, that's the hope that Ford has for this is eventually it's going to be a standalone brand. Yeah. So yep. That's kind Which, of how Yeah, it's super cool. Um, obviously there's lift here on the door. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Bronco on the key fob. Yes. So on the door, you can take off the connector and then on the actual cover that covers the electrical connector for the doors, it get, it says get, it says get unhinged on the inside or the outside on the outside of it, right on the cover. So when you close that, it should say it. It's very hard to see, but it does say get unhinged. Get there. unhinged. You can only see it when the door's off, really. So I'm wondering, I'm like, that's kind of stupid, but I just realized, like, because you can take the doors off then yeah, so on these the vehicles. Yeah, so when the doors are off, that's completely exposed. So that's another one. So cool. Those little details that probably cost thousands and thousands of dollars in R&D just to have on yeah. there. Just the gas so tank, cool. You have little Bronco models. All the Bronco models. See, this is what I'm talking about. I drive the ZR2 over there. Okay. Um, I like it a lot, but Chevy has, they're way behind on technology. Like this has a really nice big screen in the middle. Uh, the Ram, my buddy has a Ram TRX, huge screen in the middle, lots of options. Um, Chevy, I hate to say it, but they suck. It's a 2021 model and it's just, it's not anywhere near what Ford is now offering. Yeah, I, I agree. As far as domestic brands, I think Ford's pretty much ahead of the game as far as technology, safety technology especially, but their interior design it's i think it's light years ahead of some other yep. competitors so. it's just so cool because like every little it's like a toy almost like it, all it, the it, like it, a grab it, handle here yeah. you got the air conditioning like a little nodule here that you'd move yeah. it is is rubberized and colored yeah another little feature i can show you is the easter egg so on these little bolts there's bolts positioned all around the vehicle and these bolts are called bronco bolts so you can see they're stamped with the word bronco around it and those are meant for the consumer to take off and replace and add whatever accessory they want. Customization. So you want a different, I saw oh my someone God. create like a custom like wood, wooden handle. So you, if you could basically make whatever accessory you want out of this, as long as it bolts into it. You give this like two years, even a year. I mean, you're going to yeah. see people with insane builds on these yeah. things that they let you do this to their creation is just yeah. so cool. And there's, there's tons of different accessories you can add. And the bolts, it's actually a, a historical thing. So with Ford back in World War II, they actually produced Jeeps based on the Jeep design or the Willys design. Yep. And then the only way that you could figure out which one was a Ford design and which one was a Willys design is that you actually had to look at the bolts on the Jeep itself. If the bolt was stamped with the Ford F, that meant that it was produced by Ford. And if it was built with normal just bolts, that's the Willys one. So that's kind of why they did this. It was a callback to their heritage, basically where the Bronco idea got started. So it's just so because normally it's like one or two little things. I mean, to just litter the vehicle with all these cool yeah, little. All, there's more. I haven't even. It's just them. well, it's just like the cool little talking yeah. pieces how they have with just a SUV here, and mm -hmm. the fact that it's also off-road capable, really cool. I saw the trunk back here. I, I saw in the Sport, you can open them up sideways. Obviously, on the Badlands Edition, I'm sure you can too. So freaking sweet. Yep, and then even if you want some extra access in the top, there's two little levers that you press down on. Yeah, and you can lift up on it. There's a little prop as well. And then you can stick that prop in here. A little bit better access. Look at this. That. That's so freaking cool. Oh my God, it's like a concept vehicle. And this is something that's on the production line being sold in the masses. What's this color called? This is Cyber Orange. Cyber Orange. Tri coat Metallic. And is this like the craziest color they're going to come in? This is probably one of the brighter ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a, a first edition color, which is only for the first edition. Yeah, I saw blue. those. That's a really bright blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, those are almost like not even, there's only so many of those, so. Yeah. But this was the reveal color. So this was that color that they showcased at the reveal night, which is over yep. a year ago now, so. It looks great. Definitely looks great. The front end's my favorite. Just love how that like boxy look with like the rounded headlights. It's it's like an 80s style, but on a yeah. 2021 car, truck. Yeah. It's just so cool. Like accessory right here goes along with what AJ said. This could pop off. I'm assuming you could put a pod light in there. Anything you want. I mean, there's this, the possibilities are endless. Oh, I wanted to see it with the roof off so bad. That's awesome. Yeah, so if you come around here. All open in here. Oh my God. It's like, you want a panoramic sunroof, you got one. 
kind of hard to see unless you're sitting right here, but and you can get in. So it's right, right up on the roll here. bar. Yeah, so it's, I'll show, I'll point to it. It's right, right here. Do you see that? There's grid coordinates. Oh, yep. And mountains. That's called Bronco Knoll. So it's like an overlook point. So you can actually freaking go to. cool. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Oh my God. Yeah, and to be honest, like people were, some people were a little miffed about uh, the sticker price on these vehicles. You're getting a steal with this whenever it comes with this many things. To have this much fun with an off-road vehicle, you're gonna be spending 80,000 plus. And uh, this thing I think is below 60, which is insane. That roof coming off, like that sells it for me. It's like a Jeep Wagoneer, but better. It's super easy to do, one person can operate. Yeah, you did it with one hand yeah, from the driver's seat. really easy, yeah. And you can drive like that. <laughs> oh my God. That's so cool. Wow. Well, thank you, AJ. Yeah, I really appreciate it. AJ down here at Hoffman Ford, always helping us out in the community. Make sure you hit him up. So we take a look at what we just walked away from to this, which does look cool after the little things I've done to it, which is over $7,000 in modifications to a 2021 vehicle. Um, but still looks pretty freaking cool. You look at the interior, it's just not there. Now, granted, this vehicle is $20,000 less than that one over there, um, but I'm missing so much. It seems like that 20 grand would be worth it just because this has nothing on it that's like uh, a secret or something like that. The only thing this truck has, and I don't mean to be putting down Chevy too hard. I love my Chevy Colorado, uh, but the only thing that it does that this has that's like kind of cool and sets it apart from the rest is the fact that it has that front locker. The rear locker is one thing, but to have the front locker is huge. That has both, so the Bronco is gonna win. And with a lift kit on that, some bigger tires, it already has 33. So just the way it is, I'm assuming it's skid plated out of its mind on the bottom. It's gonna win in an off-roading battle, probably against this truck, if it had the ground clearance. So for right now, uh, it's just the demo vehicle. I can't drive it around just because that's the way it is. Um, their hands are tied, they wanted me to do it. Uh, the owner of the company, Hoffman himself, came out and introduced himself. Um, I think we went to school together, actually, Packin Elementary School. Uh, but anyway, it's just super nice. Most car salesmen, um, it's just a little bit like, what can I get out of this? And they were super upfront, like, dude, it's promotion, man. We, we dig it. So big ups to them uh, for helping me out and, and letting me film this vehicle. And they said that since I didn't put in a pre-order, because I didn't, I should have, I'm a freaking idiot, uh, that once they get any openings, they're going to give me a call. And I will be trading this in for a Ford Bronco. It's going to happen. And it's going to be in whatever the hell that orange is. I forget what AJ said, but it is a beautiful color. Back to Ford, baby. I love my GM, but we're gonna be going back to Ford. Successful day today. Came home and we're trying to tackle the backyard. I still have the Dakota Pap Cap back here. If anyone wants this, I need to get rid of this so bad. It's in perfect condition. It's like a Lear. Uh, don't have dimensions on it. It's whatever the dimensions would be for a long bed 92 Dodge Dakota. But trying to tackle all this, my plan is to get rid of all this shrubbery back here and just, it's just weeds, it's disgusting. Um, I used to landscape like every other 17, 18 year old and this is depressing that I let it get this bad, but we're gonna get all this out. Uh, we have little decorative rock shell already that was from the previous owner. Gonna rock all this and then put up those little like sapling trees in the backyard just to improve this because I'm gonna be selling my house soon and moving to the farm that uh, Street Speed 717 bought. I already bought two acres from them. Um, so we are in business right now with the land. Uh, but yeah, definitely got to get the backyard cleaned up because this is just complete trash. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Likes are always appreciated. Say Bronco in the comments in honor of the Bronco because that's going to be sick. And I'll see you guys next video.